Hello everyone and welcome to our weekly update on what it comes to be the Insider Report. My name is Jose Ricardo Tejan and on behalf of Ross Givens and the entire team at Market Search Daily, we want to welcome you to a new trading week. Of course, we want to make sure that you receive the best information when it comes to the Insider Report when we only trade one strategy, the Insiders. And basically it's because they are the best traders and investors in Wall Street. There's nothing we do before knowing who is buying the stock, when they bought it, and how much. That's all you need to know. So today I have two stocks that we're going to take a, uh, we're gonna take a look. We're going to talk about CHK, Chesapeake uh, Oil Gas Corporation, and also we're going to talk about Costco. But when it comes to Costco, I'm going to go over the call options. That's all, all we want to do here, call options. So I'm looking for a premium of 30% upside potential in CHK and I'm looking believe it or not for a hundred percent a hundred percent to 200 250 percent return on call options that Costco has available so this is what this video is about and let's begin so before I go with everything just remember that past performance does not constitute future performance the purpose of this videos is for uh, this videos for educational purposes only okay now very important we do in fact provide actionable trading ideas, trading scenarios that you're more than welcome to take. This is pretty much what our members, our subscribers pay us thousands of dollars to to get way before you are getting this information. But we thought it was it was, it was important to also let everyone uh, everyone know uh, everyone knows what we do, how we do it, how we get this, how we can deliver consistent above the market returns that not only beat the market expectation, but also how we position ourselves compared with other ETFs and more passive investment strategies. Okay, so having said that, let's begin. Okay, so now we are here, and the first thing I wanted to share with you is exactly what I'm discussing CHK. Um, we have a regular, the the day to day membership that we sell when it comes to the Insider Report. It's available. I will have the link in the description of this video as well you can visit markettradersdaily.com we're the publisher of the report and the reason when I take a, the reason why we take a look at, at any security is because we know who is buying we know the insiders are buying and we understand they're buying directly so this is the composition of the previous purchases the one thing I wanted to add is that we have a premium let's like a VIP it's, it's a VIP lifetime membership where we take a look and dedicate ourselves to structure um, based on the capital that our investors, not more investors, let's talk about subscribers, they they share with us a little bit more information and it, it's not really a do-it-yourself, it's more a, a holding hands and showing them step by step, uh, that's a lifetime, that's a different uh, level of subscription and this, this uh, CHK already delivered for those uh, premium members, 100%, 100% since December. We got into low to $2, $2.05. The stock actually, here's the very, the, the, the funny thing about this is that we got the low back in December when the market dipped after almost 20% drop in the S&P 500. And we got the signal a day before Christmas and the markets were open. So some subscribers, they had the opportunity to get around $2. It was very difficult to get the low. The low of the uh, CHK was 174. And then you can see where is the accumulation, 181, 197. But there's one guy here that it's, is, he is the leading indicator. Arshi Duham is a director. Look at what Arshi did. One, uh, 1.2 million shares, again the same. And then he has here 2.2. Uh, two million one hundred thousand shares total Archie got four and a half million shares of CHK by uh, back in December and it ranged from two two dollars twenty two cents all the way to 197 so we know that the two dollar ten cents the two dollar uh, price range is absolutely premium for Archie Dohan director of CHK so we know that and you have a bunch of insiders. Look ahead. You have the CEO Robert Lotto, or you have Thomas Ryan. Thomas Ryan, two hundred share, two hundred thousand shares, the day before Christmas. Do you think that was that was an accident? Accident? I I heard about coincidences. I have never seen one, and this is not going to be the first time. So, we have insiders, and for what they paid for the stock, 
they already are way into the profit. Look at this, 55%, 43%, 46%, 51%, 46% again, plus 50. That's very bad. <laughs> but all of them, they also have one common, one common scenario among all of them, direct purchases. It means that the insiders, they have skin in the game. Keep always this in mind. Would you trust a director? Would you trust a CEO that is not invested in his own company? How come? If your product is so good, if your company is so good, when you're, why are you not invested? So if you are, that sells a signal. It doesn't mean a signal that there's, there are good times coming. So after the stock was declining, we'll take a look at that when we go to our charts. Uh, the store has been declining for a while. People tend to buy because, oh, it was it, it's cheaper than it used to be like a year ago or like a month ago. Wrong. You don't do that. You look for the leading indicator, the number one indicator in Wall Street, the insiders. Company insiders adding based on legally established regulations from the SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission of the United States of America, that allows them to buy their own stock. If you want to know exactly how this regulation works, in the description of this video, you will find the link directly so you can go and watch Ross Givens, our head, our head editor, senior editor of the Insider Report, explaining all this so you understand more the product. Make sure you go take a look at this, uh, the subscription, sign in, and um, take a look at the webinar. The webinar, watch the webinar, entire webinar, so you understand exactly how is this even possible, how the insiders have been allowed to make these returns and even more because the stock is dropping from $3.50, make more than 100%, and why they haven't sell. If you want to know exactly how that works, again, I strongly advise you to click on the link in the description and go and watch the webinar so you know more about the Insider Report and how we do this. And like I said, we have our premium, uh, premium subscribers there already uh, cashed, so we have actually an edge. We uh, cash out some portion of our positions. And now what we want to do, okay, we're going to go here. And there's one thing that I also want to um, explain. This is, it is crucial to understand. We take a look at the SEC Form 4. SEC Form 4. It's, this is very important because you need to understand if there is skin in the game or they were just rewarded. Keep in mind that C-level executives in the United States um, and also in Europe and other places, they get rewarded uh, stock options or they get rewarded common stocks after XYZ amount of years working for the company. So you want to take a look at this. So we really do our due diligence. Before we talk about anything, before we take a look, we need to know what is happening behind the, the scene, behind the curtain, what's going on. And once we have that information, then and only then we're going to how are we going to buy this? What is our risk? How far can we go with this? Okay, so having said that, I explained everything. You have all the information. Now we take a look at CHK and we're going to jump directly. Let me see if we can look directly. Uh, just going to go here. We took about a few other uh, interesting, not interesting, but compelling arguments to be long CHK into earnings because earnings. Earnings are on May 8th. We're just a few days, two days away. So I'm going to go to my charts, take a look at CHK, where we are, what is happening. We already have the fundamental, the shift. Something is about to happen and it has to be good. Otherwise, why you have so many directors? They're not just looking to track your investment, but they are building up a position in the company they believe in because who knows more than, who knows more about CHK than the insiders, company insiders, they are working to generate value for their shareholders. Let me just move this here. Let me take a look real quick. And we'll take a look. It's here. A couple of things that I want to analyze first. Before I throw anything of this mumbo jumbo of technical analysis, uh, just to give me a path. I already know what I want to do, but I want to try to fine tune my risk. So if this is the extension of the low to the high, we're going to 356 from all the way from one, it was 170, 174, all the way to 350. The 61%, which is the most relevant, only there, there are only two key levels in Fibonacci, 61% and 38.2. That's it. Everything else is in the middle. So we, uh, we, have, we have to see is that from the technical perspective, it wouldn't surprise me if the stock drops all the way to 240, maybe rotate all the way to, to 20. But we know that Archie Durham has four 
2.5 million shares between 222, somewhere here, and 197. So that's the full rotation. Prices can spike down, they can leave a tail, and then retrace. This is based on earnings. Now, if you want to know exactly where in an earnings season, when exactly the, the security you're looking at is going to go out with earnings, and what is happening, just go to earningwhispers.com. My favorite, favorite site, I use it just to have an idea of my uh, calendar, what is happening. May 8, 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, that's before market opening. So we do in fact have to position ourselves. Um, the other aspect uh, before jumping into the technicals is how SunTrust on uh, May 2nd, um, four days ago, SunTrust banks uh, raises just big energy uh, earnings estimate to 59 cents and 38 cents. Also, there are more discussions. Um, it's not bad, it's not 100% accurate, but remember there are some arguments that you can find in Yahoo Finance as far as um, some ideas from day-to-day -day traders, regional traders, and not because the regional traders there don't have a word. They can say, and you can sort of put an argument together. This one here, I'm just gonna leave it here a couple seconds so you can read it because it makes sense. He's taking asset minus debt, and dividends and he's coming up with a 20% premium. This is not the first time that I, yeah, you can listen about the premium. So there's also another couple of investors discussing a 30% premium on the position and they're establishing a buy level of $5.87. Not a bad uh, perspective if we're, if we're only trading earnings seasons, okay? Now, just go, the ones we have, we taken that out, I'm just gonna go and uh, share a couple levels here first. The volume, if we take a volume profile, which is the number one tool after understanding what ins company insiders are doing, used by Ross Givens, we know that volume goes all the way to 250, not too far from 61.8% Fibonacci, 240. Now, the point of control is set at $3.02. This means that the first resistance or level where we need prices to stay above will be this point of control. And then we have the doors open to, once again, retest $3.30. And why not explode to the upside? And that's where we can easily see, you see, all the way back $4.90. So on Yahoo Finance, on that conversation, the $5.87 level, it's not really out of questions, it's there. Now, of course, uh, we take a look at this range. And what I like to do is to project the level, I'm just gonna do an entire extension of the level, and let's say it, make, it makes it to the 61.8% uh, Fibonacci. I have all this section here, I'm looking for $4.31, and this is my conservative target, okay? So uh, let's say I'm buying now, and I'm gonna play this range as my, my risk, I have that, I have a 20, 21% risk, and I'm looking all the way to this level, based on the 61.8%. So I'm considering that CHK can still trade a little bit lower before releasing earnings. And look at this, we have a 51.77%. So I'm playing it very conservative, based on the information I already have from the company insiders. I know they're in, I know that the stock is moving away from the high, and I'm expecting a positive report. So because we know that company insiders only buy when things are about to get good and even better. This is the expectation. So I'm announcing this as a 30% premium. I'm actually going for a 51%. Now I have 1,400 shares. Um, that's what I can disclose. We have, I have more shares of it. Uh, somewhere, I'm going to share here, somewhere around, let's see, 290, 290 something. Uh, okay, here, 290. So in my case, I'm looking for a 40% appreciation on that, which is not a bad thing if you think about it, not a bad thing. Now, of course, if you're looking into this, for every $10,000 worth of stock, you can be looking at a 50% return, between a 30 to 50% return, of course, if things go as expected. We do have the leading indicator, and we know that, as I shared with you at the beginning of the video, is that insiders are already enjoying plus 50% on this stock. And at some point, they were almost 95%. You also know that our premium subs subscribers in the Sign Report, they already cut some of their positions and take home 100% return on portion of their uh, stakes that invested one, uh, 
when we had this alert back in December for premium sub subscribers. So here you are. This is how you got it. I'm looking for conservative speaking, a 30% premium to the upside based on the allocation that company insiders already have in CHK, Chesapeake Energy Corp. Chesapeake Energy Corporation. And this is pretty much what we have I have today for you. Now, before I let you go, before I let you go, I want to share one more with you. It's a special uh, special gift for the beginning of the week for all our uh, subscribers and our YouTube channel also across the board, Twitter, and the ones that read our blog on a daily basis and our more than uh, 80,000 uh, subscribers in our uh, newsletter. It's um, one that I, it's, it's very important. The first year that we published the Insider Report, we had uh, several winners. We have six opportunities where you can double your money, your capital. In 2018, we had another three to four opportunities where you can double your money, and we had two opportunities where you can triple your money. Now, we have an opportunity for all subscribers, readers to join uh, Costco. Costco Wholesale is one of the most, uh, it's, a, it's a brand name. If you were to, to pick a couple names, you have McDonald's, uh, you will say Amazon, of course, Facebook, names that you relate to the United States with the brand. And Costco, when it comes to wholesale, is absolutely one of those. Now, uh, the alert I want to put here is to an opportunity that is on the table for you to double your money. Why? Like I said, we play call options. The way we play call options is that we only buy. It's very simple. You only buy. And we're looking at the July 2019 strike $265 for Costco. Right now, the stock is trading at $244.62. And as you can see, triple digit stocks, they're very robust. They are in a business that is somehow pretty stable and they grow slowly. But surely, so in this case, Ross Givens, Ross Givens, our senior editor at the Insider Report, recommended about two and a half weeks ago these particular options from Costco at $2.45. He is strongly advised not to pay more than $2.45. Now, I want to point out the rotation. The contract high was $3 and the low was $1.19 just last week. Right now, the last sale price for $1.66. You can get right now. This particular position for less than 80 cents cheaper than most of our subscribers. This is a total gift for you to know. Total gift. If you take this, the rotation can assure you that from this point, you can be looking to make $3. Of course, this is based on a positive expectation of earnings and that the stock keep trading higher. Now, the market today open based on President Trump comments on establishing a new tariff, 25% tariffs on... Uh, the Chinese government uh, by Friday is not over. The 400 points that the Dow Jones just opened today, if you're watching this, is already down. Um, I think, I don't know if I have it. I think I, okay, I think I have it. Let me take a look at this. Let me see if I can share with you real quick. What is the Dow Jones doing? Um, I think I have it. Down Jones, down Jones. Not sure if I have it here. I have the S&P, which is already down 50. DJ US. Let's see if I have it up here. Germany. Okay, here we go. The US 30. Let's remove this. Uh, take a look at the daily. So you see here. This, this, so market closes last week at this level, and then we are here about 389 points. 300 points went all the way, 570 point. The gap, uh, the, uh, the position of the Dan Jones open here, 400 points gap to the downside, and then moves another 175 pips. It's very important is retracement on the 50 exponential moving average on the daily chart. Now, it's very important to understand this. This is not because the stocks are reporting a poor figure. This is because President Trump tweet about this situation. So there's not really a fundamental change in what companies are doing. There's a fundamental probable change by Friday in how the United States do business with China. That's a different story. So we have to pay attention to this. And this is the last part I want to share in this video. Pay attention. What is the reason behind the drop or behind uh, the stock or the currency going up? So having said that, going back to the figures, 
this is a tremendous opportunity. Like I said, subcri subscribers do pay, uh, pay thousands of dollars to us for this information. You, we decided to build this up, this weekly update, video, uh, articles. Also, uh, uh, this is a great time to share. You can find us on Twitter. This is our uh, one of our second channels of communication. Our website, market, market, uh, MarketTradersDaily.com. And of course, Twitter, we, have, uh, we are in the... Uh, address here FTD tweet FTD tweet we am actually we needed to come up with a better name but it is what it is and I have pin here this is the this is the evidence that we have I have personally I have uh, 1400 shares at 297 here's all information you can also click on this link and go directly to watch the webinar about the insider report I don't want to fool you with more of that information you have this but I just want you to imagine I want you to imagine Subscribers are paying thousands of dollars for information. They already know they're adding up their cost averaging, their position of these calls. But now we have this information where we do all this research based on company insiders. And we are in Costco, for example. Uh, the signal was sent not to buy more uh, the, the positions. Once again, let me go back. The call options, not to buy the call options for more than $2.45. The low was $1.19. It happened last week. Last week. And now the last sale price. 166 you got it right here this is an opportunity for you to join and be exposed to a probable probable cost based on how Costco may uh, report their earnings a hundred percent on your money okay and also CHK one more time here's what I'm looking in the more aggressive way earning assistance uh, we have the information from on trust trust some trust bank how they expect a jump higher into estimated earnings and also earnings per share and like I said I'm looking for a 30% premium going long in this stock my risk I'm not I don't want the stock to go lower than this section uh, two dollars and 22 cents based on previous clusters buying clusters from the insiders very important insider Archie Durham with 4.5 million shares between 222 and one dollar and ninety seven cents that's all I have for you guys everyone if you're beginning if you're if you want to learn to, how to trade stocks how to buy call options following the best traders the most profitable traders and investors in Wall Street I'm talking yes I'm talking about the insiders company insiders how do they do that legally exactly what we do define as high conviction trades how do we know their track records if you want to learn that this is the opportunity for you to watch go to the description of this video there's a link for you to join the webinar where our senior editor Ross Gibbons will explain everything about what you need to know about the insider report so also if you like this video please be positive ask some questions give us a like and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get every week on Mondays you get the best of the insider reports and what is hot in Wall Street thank you for watching my name is Jose Ricardo Han analyst and product specialist product specialist at Marketers Daily. Have a great trading week.